Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Viral Secret Service Insider reveals shock truth about Trump attorney raid. Dan Bongino isn't buying it. As news spread Monday that FBI agents had raided the office of President Donald Trump's personal lawyer in part because of the investigation by special counsel Robert Mueller, the mainstream media had a field day. But it took a former Secret Service agent to shine a light on the real truth about the action. According to The New York Times, Monday's raid opens a new front for the Justice Department in its scrutiny of Mr. Trump and his associates. The first sentence of a CNN analysis declared there could be dark and unprecedented times ahead. But for Bongino, who served for more than a decade with the Secret Service during the George W. Bush and Barack Obama administrations, the raid was just more proof of how politicized American law enforcement institutions have become. To make his point, he contrasted the Bureau's treatment of Trump attorney Michael Cohen with its kid gloves handling of Hillary Clinton associates during its investigation of the Clinton email scandal. Fascinating that Trump's actual attorney's office is raided for evidence while Cheryl Mills, Hillary's lawyer, and potential co-conspirator, was allowed to act as Hillary's lawyer so she could later take custody of real evidence, Bongino said in a Twitter post Monday that had been retweeted almost 15,000 times by Tuesday morning. The contrast couldn't be more striking. FBI agents during the Obama administration trod gingerly around then Democrat presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and her top aides, like Chief of Staff Cheryl Mills. Under the direction of then FBI Director James Comey, the Bureau allowed Mills to claim attorney client privilege during its half hearted investigation of Clinton's use of a private email server while she was Secretary of State. In May of 2016, Mills stormed out of meeting with FBI agents because a question supposedly breached that privilege. On July 2, 2016, Mills was allowed to be present while FBI agents conducted an interview with Clinton that was supposed to be the climax of the email investigation. Some climax. It was only three days later that Comey made his now infamous declaration that Clinton would not be prosecuted for the scandal. The Bureau could barely question Mills, who was involved in Clinton escapades that were almost certainly criminal, while it sees fit to raid the office of Trump's attorney as part of Mueller's investigation of an illusion called Russia collusion where no one is even sure a crime has been committed. Former U.S. Representative Jason Chaffetz, who investigated Clinton's email and Benghazi scandals from his position as chairman of the House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform also chimed in with a tweet about Monday's raid. It's true that there are still many questions that haven't been answered publicly. It is known that the raid was spurred in part by a referral from Mueller, meaning whatever it involved was outside the scope of the Russia investigation itself. And, according to CNN and The Washington Post, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein probably signed off on the operation. But what specifically the agents were looking for, and whether it was even at Cohen's office still isn't clear. Even with those questions pending, the truth is, the double standard is breathtaking. If Mueller has a shred of evidence against Trump related to Russian collusion, or anything else, it has not yet been made public. So far as is publicly known, Trump and his associates have been cooperative, and if they hadn't been, we can all assume it would have been shouted from the mountaintops by the mainstream media getting convenient leaks. When Clinton was under investigation in a matter that even her supporters knew stank to high heaven, her chief of staff and alleged lawyer was allowed to storm out of the room during FBI questioning with absolutely zero consequences. During that same investigation, Mills and other Clinton associates stonewalled the FBI at every opportunity and instead of getting really tough, the FBI offered immunity from prosecution and actually agreed to destroy laptops that could hold incriminating evidence. Yet Trump's attorney's office is raided by FBI agents seizing computers and records. The New York Times called it a new front in the Trump investigation. CNN says there are dark and unprecedented times ahead. But what it really is is proof of how politicized law enforcement has become in this country thanks to the Obama-slash-Clinton years. Dan Bongino isn't buying it. And neither should the American public. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.